Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'll show you how to get free hosting and a domain with SSL certificate in 2024. So without wasting time, let's get started. So for, first thing is getting free hosting for your website. For that, open Google and uh, enter infinity free or infinity host and uh, click on this link over here. This will take you to the infinityfree.com. Click on register. I already have an account. so or register and then click on create account you have to create a hosting account so while choosing the hosting plan make sure you select the free one click on create now and here you can choose your custom domain or if you want a free domain from all these domain extensions you can select that I will select this one and click on check availability you can see this domain is available so let's quickly set up a password and then if you want emails from them, you can approve or disapprove. I'll clear it. I'll, I'll select I approve and click on create account. Now this will create a free hosting account inside Infinity for you. So you can see uh, we have set up a hosting with this username. Click on finish and just wait for it to set up. You can see the hosting account status as active. Once this is uh, finished setting up, it says pending creation just wait for it to change it to active and once this is changed to active you can access this website you can create a hosting account for this website free of cost so let's just copy this because we're gonna be needing this later so just give it some time it will be activated will take at least uh, one to two minutes to active so once the account is active you can access this account inside uh, your infinityfree.com your infinity free account so you can see the account is now ready the status is active so the next step is to click on control panel uh, this will take you to the Vista panel, which is uh, it will give you a notice. Just click on I approve, and the panel will load. You can see you have a whole uh, C panel here with some limitations, of course. You can see the bandwidth is unlimited, and you have uh, a few other options here. So now let's install WordPress. To install WordPress, you have to select Softaculous uh, installer and select WordPress, click on install, and here you have to set up uh, the admin name and the password for your WordPress login. So I'll set up the admin username as admin, and I'll set up a strong password. So let me uh, generate a password, and uh, you can set the admin email, and uh, select the team if you want to, and click on install. And this will start installing WordPress on your free web uh, free domain and the free hosting that you just uh, signed up you can see it says the WordPress is successfully installed you can access the site there you go you have a whole new site on this domain you can do this for your custom uh, domain as well it's, it's just uh, the same procedure and then uh, to log into the admin portal you can just enter the website slash wp-admin and here you can enter the username and the password. Let's enter the username that we just uh, generated, we just created, and see if we are able to log in. Enter the username and password and click on login. And there you go, you have uh, the WordPress dashboard, WordPress control panel from where you can set up this whole site. And uh, let's uh, go back to our Infinity hosting and uh, I'll show you the second step is to install a free SSL certificate and to do that go back to your Infinity hosting account and click on this option over here that says free SSL certificate. I've created a certificate click on new SSL certificate and here you have to enter the domain name that you have signed up for. It could be this one or your custom email, a custom domain name and then scroll down click on uh, and create order. You can see the this thing and now uh, the current destination is same but uh, it will take some time for your other uh, thing click on setup cname records and uh, it will take some time to update the dns click on once this is ready click on request uh, ssl and uh, this will 
start generating a SSL certificate for your site. And uh, mind you guys, this will this can take some time once you click on set up CNAME records. It will take some time for the DNS record to update. And one, only once that only that is updated, after that you will see this ready option here at the current destination. So now because we have clicked on uh, request a certificate, this is going to install the certificate. This is going to generate the certificate first. So let's just uh, wait until this is generated and uh, I can see that it's already generated. Go back and uh, click on install SSL certificate button over here. And you can see the SSL certificate is active. Now, if you want, uh, if it is not installed, you can click here once again. Otherwise, uh, you can just uh, go to your site and uh, make sure you go to your site using HTTPS and uh, you'll be able to see. I'll open a new tab and enter HTTPS. HTTPS colon forward, com, uh, forward slash and the domain name. And now we can see the website is now opening with uh, this lock pad which says the website is secure. Now the another uh, important setting is uh, to change some settings in the WordPress dashboard. Log into the WordPress dashboard. Go to settings. Select general. And here in the general, you have to change the WordPress address to HTTPS. And make sure you keep the same address if you want the traffic to go to HTTPS slash your website. And don't forget to save changes. And once these settings are saved, now we can test even if you go to this website without the HTTPS, it would still uh, open in HTTPS, which is really good. That means the site is secured. And uh, once this is done, make sure uh, you don't forget to uh, remember the admin username and the password. And that's how you set up a website on a free hosting with a free subdomain and SSL certificate. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to check out my channel. I have a dedicated playlist for cPanel tutorials, WordPress tutorials, useful websites, and uh, SEO, and some digital marketing, and also some tutorials on Windows. And guys, uh, one more thing, more than 98% of my viewers have not subscribed. So if you're one of them, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to check out uh, the video description because I have some important links and best deals I could find for you guys uh, around this niche. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.